Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the championship grand finals of uh, Katowice 2023 of the game Desert Strike, no, Starcraft 2 Desert Strike 1338. Best of seven. Welcome to fucking grand finals, my uh, my ladies and gentlemen. This, what we have here is game number six, a best of seven between our fucking players, Urhan. A game between Urhan and Didi, my friends. <laughs> Enjoy the movie, my friends. Okay, in the last uh, um, in the last game, in our last game, we had uh, a TVT. Urhan was able to secure to bring his ass back into the best of seven now we have a score of three to one dd is leading and now we have a Z zvp remember ladies and gentlemen in the game before in one game before we already had a fucking zvp and now we come back to the revenge <laughs> okay my friends Have fun. Okay. So. We all hope that Uran learned the mistakes in the previous games. So, it is very important to not fucking throw the more favorite matchup versus Didi. Protoss, for me, definitely is the more favorite race. If we talk about Zerg versus Protoss. Okay, we slowly, uh, we, we carefully this time decide to not overcommit ourselves with uh, Zealots because this is what we, this is what we did wrong i believe ah uh, maybe not wrong i mean obviously it uh, didn't really impact the early game in the uh, yeah fuck fuck the middle let's go and take us second cast by the way what do we have on did uh, one gas okay 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 so this is uh this is a little defensive wall in front of the cannon so that uh so that Didi not over fucking run me with his fucking uh, links yeah he wants to he wants the cannon my friend I remember, I remember this game he played different, but not better. <laughs> Obviously not better because he didn't win here. I can, I can already spoil you a little bit because I can remember after, after the previous game, he lost he has lost three games in a row so this game so the previous game this game and the next game i decide for myself and also i decide the bo7 as well so maybe we can analyze a little bit here the mistakes of didi because i remember he was not really trolling in this game so he probably was more playing serious as he did in his first game so totally my friends i believe he played his first games very serious um that was the first zvp which i lost the second game zvt where i played terran and i would say i played really good uh, until one moment where I should have done Marines instead of the Vikings. 
Let me quickly check. Oh, this fucking ass is sitting already on three guys. Okay. Okay. Good. Good uh, economical... Good economy, my friend. So in a ZVP, obviously you need zealots. Zerglings. To dominate the middle versus the protos. Because otherwise, otherwise he can very easily stack with his stalkers. If you make, for example, roach, queen. Zerglings definitely until the 10th minute, I would say. Yeah, let's approximately say until the 10th minute the zerglings are, ve are very effective versus the stalkers now you can slowly you can slowly notice an effect that for a zerg player can be very dangerous in the early game that is the effect of, of the blink stalkers so they blink back and then the next uh, wave comes and saves the previous wave so two waves stuck yeah now uh, didi was forced to do the speed for zerglings because there are there, there are a lot of zerglings by the way did he also upgrade uh plus one yes he did okay very nice very nice you with the Okay, um, I probably am forcing him to do more zerglings. Yes, uh, definitely. So let's focus. Okay, um, queens have a have also a very very huge stack potential. With his zerglings, he is forcing me to do more stalkers, for sure. Maybe I should uh, upgrade plus one uh, attack. Or maybe plus one shields for the stalkers. Okay, he probably takes the cannon. By the way, let me quickly check whether last time last time I have played uh, Call of Duty Warzone, my friends, and that was a very epic game with nine kills. But I fucking my recording program did only record my face, and it didn't record my uh, my game. So it was very sad that the game was not recorded. It was really, really a nice game, my friends. Not like Desert Strike here. I mean, of course, Desert Strike is also a nice game, but you have to decide for yourself what do you want to play. Do you either want to, after coming home, uh, no, after work, you come home and then sit back, relax. With one hand, you drink a beer, and with the other hand, you you you. For this strike, you only need one hand to play, and you need to decide: Are you the more type of the player who is more? Oh, I'm just sitting and relaxing a little bit here, enjoying uh, a little bit uh, of time with my friends here, or. Are you either some some dude who likes some challenges? Like for me, Warzone, Call of Duty Warzone is challenging me. Okay, Ultra Lisk, okay, very ex interesting. Okay. So this guy already on tier 3. Forcing me to do some Immortals, maybe. Maybe not. Let's check.
plus two up uh, weapon upgrade has been done okay let's quickly check uh, one two okay my friends he has only three queens or what Don't fucking underestimate Didi, my friends. This guy maybe uh, can seem like a, like a beginner with his fucking vultures, but he he definitely can show some very good skill sometimes. If, of course, he decides himself to play a little bit more serious and in this case I can definitely tell you he was playing serious I don't know whether you can call it like uh, this uh, this TVT with uh, his vulture strategy, strate strategy whether he was playing serious or not but for me it was more like a troll because he over committed himself with his vultures okay he upgraded shields plus two and melee weapons on plus three I probably um, I am thinking about a Colossus I think oh no okay to be honest I I think a Colossus okay yeah yeah that's what I was thinking about the zealots are becoming a little bit useless um, okay I was probably a little bit afraid of uh, overrun here yeah queens have stacked and now we If I would uh, do Keras here, it would be an instant GG, my friends. So definitely I need to survive, because Didi is trying to overrun me with his fucking ground units. And that's why you definitely need more ground units to... to... outstand this fucking... this fucking ground army this was very dangerous already i was thinking of fucking shit man yeah this was fucking very dangerous two seconds okay 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 that was uh, that was really really close my friends oh by the way the team oh no okay he didn't okay i think uh, i think a good uh, idea would be to add creep because you have this uh, zerglings with uh with uh, a different speed than the queens so i think maybe maybe we get to see creep for the queens to get higher speed Yeah, you see my friends, if you, for example, here decide to do instead of the Immortals Colossus, then it could be more dangerous, because um, uh, Immortals as a defensive unit are definitely better. Yeah, because they, they can survive more than Colossus. Colossus, of course, uh, from a certain uh, point of the game are definitely needed as well. But here, the topic or the point 
is about for the Protoss player to survive. That's why I decided to do Immortals. Immortals. And Didi is uh, putting their names, their name to the test. Ooh. Probably I was scared about um, brute lots because you know uh, I was thinking, um, okay, we don't have really a lot of queens here, and I believe um, so. Okay, we can see five queens. I think, uh, yeah, I think from five or six queens, I would definitely add uh, coloss. So maybe let's see what happens in the. I think it would be more. It would uh, make more sense to do a coloss, I would say. But I am not sure. Let's let's check the progress of these carriers. The ca the problem is the carriers has zero, zero attack, zero shields, and my ground units has already uh, has have already uh, upgrades, like plus one shields, plus uh, three attack. And for me, at um, okay, the carriers are beginning to stack a little bit. Um, this is also very nice to see. Maybe, maybe the goal was to force Didi to do maybe Karaptas. I don't really remember, but uh, looks like I will. I do a second carrier. Yes, of course, my friends. Yeah, the problem is that the carriers without any upgrades are not so powerful. Oh, I can see the... the, the uh, yeah, DD probably sees... Oh, this guy deciding to do... This guy deciding to do uh, carriers while fucking overrun him with the uh, ultras. Okay, obviously, I believe, um, so since this point of the game, I should have, man, I should have seen this fucking stack of the queens. I really need Colossus now, right now, immediately. Yeah, my friend, it looks, it doesn't really look, uh, fuck, man, 10 seconds, I need to survive. The good thing is that the planetary fortress will help me with this fucking zerglings. This is a very nice picture, I like to see it. I mean, Didi probably didn't like it. Oh. Ultras breaking through. No, they, they, they full, full control, my friends. I probably am uh, saving money for the Colossus now. Yes, my friend, there we go. Now, I would say the chances for DD are beginning to drop down a little bit. When the Protoss player has Colossus, Carriers, Stalkers, Immortals, it's really, 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 really hard to win as a Zerg player. Versus this combination, versus carriers, versus immortals, stalkers, colossus. It's hard, very hard, my friends. You need like uh, everything. You need brute lords, queens, corruptors.
Is he continuing to do ultras? Yeah, he did. He did add some ultralisks. Um, he did some queens, and he continuing to do zerglings. Which uh, I am not sure about, to be honest. So I would really recommend to do maybe some anti air queens or I don't know, Karaptas maybe. I'm not sure, Brutal. He, he, he needs re really a lot of things. There we go, creep. I very like to see it. I really like to see this picture here. Okay, the Protoss player, Uran, is beginning to secure the middle. And stomping DD with the fucking three, equalizing the score to a three to three, my friends. Yeah, probably I should add one more coloss. I would say yes, my friends. Of course. I I have seen his uh, he's adding queens versus queens. Versus queens, yeah, he definitely had more queens. Versus queens, you definitely need... Did he take gas or what? No, okay. Versus queens, definitely a very effective weapon is Colossus. Or, of course, if you have a billions, billions of carriers. Oh, he's beginning to break my stack. Okay, not bad, not bad. Oh, Didi uh, comes... Uh, oh, my fucking goodness. Definitely more Colossus, my friends. My friend. Holy shit, man. Okay. Actually, it looks very, very dangerous. So as we can see here, my friends, queens, queens, zerglings, and ultras seems to be a little bit effective. Holy shit! To be honest, I am really, man. Will I lose this game or what? Look at this fucking queens shit. What is this? Eight twenty-four. Thirty-two. 34. How many queens does he have? 8. 15. From 15 queens, he has 34. Man, this is a beautiful stack shit. Okay, he uh, wants to break the uh, Colossus and Carriers with this uh, with this anti-air. So this is like an all in, on, an all in, I would say. So. Why did I decide to do Immortal? So we can see this guy has no uh, brute lots. So the only uh, the only danger that is here is his ground army. So I have to with I have to uh, to stand his uh, ground ground army, and that's why I definitely need to support my ground army to survive. Of course, I need some Colossus as well, and maybe some... 
zum... No, Scouts. No Scouts. Okay, that's it. That's it, guys. Didi can tap out. Maybe one more Coloss. Oh, although there are a lot of Colossus here stacked. Carrier? Maybe a carrier? Scouts? Okay. Maybe I was afraid here of these fucking Corruptors. A little defense. A little defense. Def defense uh, for my carriers here. Has he uh, upgrades? Okay. Yeah. In this game, ladies and gentlemen, I really liked. I mean. Skill-wise, performance-wise, it also looks very good. Didi didn't uh, uh, troll the game here. Uh, he played, I would say, uh, very good. Um, so this is also I liked. So uh, versus the Corruptors you don't really need a lot of uh, scouts, although, okay, we can see uh, Didi has sold his uh, links, I would uh, say, let me quickly check, yes, of course, my friends, I can already see, see this, and instead he buys Corruptors, and that's why I need more scouts, but the thing is, his Zerglings was a very... Uh, yeah, you can see Karaptas is not everything. So without Zerglings it is very, very hard for, for the Zerg player to do something here. Although, I think with time you probably uh, need to sell them anyway because they become useless uh, versus this this uh, huge stack army oh he uh, he sells something again what the fuck did he sell did he sell corruptors or what let me quickly go back a little bit ah he sell ultras okay okay look at this he sells uh, nine ultras and what he can he afford one two three Four. Four broodlots. But this is too late, my friend. The Protoss player uh, has already everything. He has Colossus, he has Carriers, he has Scouts, he has Stalkers. Man, against this fucking army, it's very, very hard to do something. As a Zerg player. Like, you know, you need so, so, so many fucking uh, brute lots to deal with this fucking uh, ground army of the Protoss player. And at the same time, he has scouts, he has uh, carriers. What can you do there? And as well, Colossus. Look, with this amount of the immortals, uh, from the from the point when uh, colossus and the immortals are beginning to shoot on the planetary fortress, then it's already over. Look at this, one shot, sixteen sixty five damage. They fucking pulverized the planetary fortress, my friends. Run equalizing the score to three to three, my friends. 
Next game will be... I mean, this game was already a match point. And the next game will decide who is to win. Of course, I have already spoiled it. Um, the next game I, al I also have uh, won. So this is not a new news for you guys. But I really enjoyed to watch and cast this beautiful replay, my friends. Um, so Didi played really good as a Zerg player, but... Uh, I learned. Uh, <laughs> I learned from my mistakes in my first uh, game with Didi in this uh, ZVP, my friends. Okay. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Stay curious, motivated, and uh, healthy. And thanks for the uh, for watching this beautiful game. See you in the next games, in the next videos. Goodbye, everyone.